According to paywizard.org, Simona Halep bags $10.9 million annually, and she spends this amount on some wonderful things, and today we'll be talking about them. Hey guys, welcome to Luxury Plus. If you'd like to get updated with all the luxury lifestyle and how the rich make and spend their money, please subscribe to our channel. Also, why should you be behind everyone? So press the bell icon to never miss an update about So press the bell icon to never miss an update after every upload. So without any further ado, let's get started. Being one of the most celebrated tennis players in the world, Simona is definitely a selling brand and thus garnering big and prestigious endorsements. Simona was endorsed by a famous clothing line, Adidas Company, for many years, until she switched to Nike in February 2018, according to Celebrity Net Worth. She also had sponsorship deals with companies like Lacoste, Hublot, Mercedes-Benz, and Vodafone. Hotel in Romania Halep has built and maintained a growing portfolio of businesses in sectors such as tourism, horeca, and real estate. In Romania, her growing earnings are being translated into investments in the tennis player's family. In particular, her father Stair Halep and her brother Niku is managing. Simona Halep acquired the four-star Drakenhaus Hotel in resort town Poyana Rashov in 2017, and she's ready to invest another 500,000 euros in the property to add another story, according to bizbrashov.ro, cited by Mediafax. The hotel currently has 24 rooms, an apartment, sauna, a restaurant, and a bar. According to the source, over 20,000 tourists have stayed there so far, and it has a good rating in booking websites. Halle paid 2 million euros for the Poyana Brashov Hotel, and she also invested in a new unit in seaside resort Mamaya, which is currently under construction. She also owns a big apartment building with 22 flats and a penthouse. She made headlines in May 2017 when she opened a cafe in her native town of Constana. Now, SH Cafe, open on Strata Mercea Selbatran, is closing down and will make room for a boutique hotel, local sources announced. The Romanian already invested in two hotels in Brasov. She bought a four-star pension in Brasov and a hotel in the historic center of Brasov. She also built several blocks of flats near Constana in Mamaya and will now build a boutique hotel. According to a source quoted by Telcom Sport, Simona Halep's father understood that investing in real estate is a very profitable one. This explains the interest Halep's family has for the business sector. Charity work Simona also served humanity by taking part in several passion projects. One of the projects is sponsoring a girls' hockey team. She also has a foundation dubbed Simona Halep Foundation, whose main objective is to support the community in matters of sports, health, and education. Cars Mercedes-AMG S63 Convertible Simona bought this car in black and has a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 that generates 603 horsepower and 664 pound-to-foot of torque. This car touches 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.4, which surely means it has ultimate performance. This car has an estimated price tag of $185,000. Power aside, the S36 earns every AMG emblem on its stunning plus-size body. With no hyperbole, this is one of the world's best automobiles, irrespective of price. An Apollonian ideal of form and function with several goblets of Dionysian luxury. As the gods like to tell us mortals, you really can have it all. It can be just like any other S-Class, silent, serene, and lovely to touch and interact with at any kind of speed. But when the road is clear and the sky is blue, you can drop the top and ride a wave of noise and torque. Mercedes-Benz claims that your heart rate is much slower than an S-Class, but punch the throttle here and a 3.4 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time is enough to get the heart racing in possibly the ultimate performance display of luxury and opulence. Mercedes GLC Coupe The next car she owns is Mercedes GLC Coupe. Again, she owns this car in black and has a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that kicks out 255 horsepower and 273 pounds per foot of torque. This car gets you at the price tag of $60,000. Mercedes AMG G63 She also owns a Mercedes G63, which is very popular among celebrities. She owns this G63 in a crazy black color. The cost of this existing piece of machine is $200,000. Mercedes AMG G63 is powered by a 3-liter diesel engine mated to a 9-speed gearbox. The engine is capable of generating 282 bhp of power and 600 mp of torque and has a top speed of 210 km per hour. 
The powertrains in the G63 and G65 are impressive exercises in brute force, and we applaud AMG for its use of large displacement engines in both the twin-turbocharged 5.5-liter V8 G63 and the twin-turbo 6-liter V12 G65. Both pair with a 7-speed automatic transition that is too eager to seek higher gears at times but shifts quickly, preventing it from feeling too clunky. Those who want a top-heavy SUV with either 563 or 621 ponies pumping through a structure that was first designed 40 years ago will get their wish here. Both the G63 and G65 carry the same powertrain and drivetrain components for 2018. Rather than the warm, welcoming, swoopy cabins that greet passengers in many of Mercedes-Benz's other vehicles, the G's interior are made of the straight-edge geometric shapes you'll find in a military vehicle, which is what the G-Class originally was after all. Many of the surfaces are covered in quality materials, but there are still plenty of hard-to-the-touch areas. The large front passenger side grab bar is a reminder of what this vehicle was originally designed to do. Although the narrow interior and stadium seating layout restrict space for passengers, trick rear seats open up plenty of room for storage. Whereas most SUVs have second row seats that fold down to create a level load floor with a cargo area, the G-Wagon's elevated second row seats sit on top of that load floor. Porsche Carrera 911 Porsche 911 Carrera is also part of her car collection. The Porsche 911 may be a high-performance sports car, but it also makes a nice daily driver. She owns this car in red and has a price tag of $130,000. The rear-mounted engine then drives a standard 7-speed manual or optional 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which drives either the rear wheels or all four wheels in all-wheel drive 4 models. Both the 4 all-wheel drive system and S performance package can be added to the Carrera Coupe, Carrera Soft Top Convertible, and Targa Power Folding Targa Style Hard Top models. EPA estimated fuel economy ranges from 19 to 22 MPG City and 28 to 30 MPG Highway for Carrera models depending on body style. Fuel economy for the turbo model is estimated at 19 MPG City and 24 MPG Highway regardless of body style. All other 911 models such as the GT3 carry over unchanged for now as the company shifts production from the outgoing model to the new updated model. Range Rover Sports she also owns this uber-luxury Range Rover Sports SUV. Just like other cars, she got this car in black too. Range Rover Sports are known to serve dutifully as stylish and luxurious family cruisers. This car has an estimated price tag of $85,000. Porsche Taycan The coolest electric sports car and probably the latest addition to her car collection, she owns the Porsche Taycan in blue and has an approximate price tag of $120,000. Powering the standard rear-wheel drive, Porsche Taycan is a single electric motor and a 79 kWh battery pack that combines to produce 321 horsepower. All Taycan models are capable of short bursts of extra power when using launch control, referred to as overboost. Its curvy bonnet, subtle air intakes, and sleek sloping roofline look like a cross between the 911 and the Panamera, while the laser-like full-width brake light and optional Uber aerodynamic alloy wheels give the Taycan its own futuristic flavor. This theme continues inside where the Porsche Taycan combines the 911 driver-focused cabin layout with more tech than you can shake a memory stick at. In addition to the widescreen digital driver's display, which sits in place of Porsche's trademark analog rev counter, there's a central infotainment screen, a separate touchscreen for the car's heating and ventilation controls. There's even an optional screen above the glove box for the front seat passenger if you're fine with handing over the keys to the driving music. All the batteries needed to keep these screens running, as well as those that power the Taycan's electric motors, are tucked beneath the car's floor. But despite this, you still sit nice and low in the driver's seat. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Let us know how you liked it in the comments below. Till then, hope to see you in another video.